Someone told me that, uh, oh, I think it was my friend. She's a letter carrier. Somehow ended up in, in a, the big warehouse in Toronto for Amazon. She's like, it's all robots. Oh, it, I imagine it's just like, it's just stuff. Just move. There's, There's probably no just- human beings like getting. So when you order stuff and sometimes you're like, I ordered three weird things and they're all in the same box yeah. and they came the next day. You're like this, I know that they warehouse this stuff and that certain vendors, you know, once they have a certain status can get their stuff in the warehouse. <clears throat> I get that. But like just that robots know where that specific size you know, of like barcode or whatever hoodie that I ordered, and like, and the oh, like now I need some like, oh fuck. Anyway, just being that's weird. It's like, well, that's what if that's the about. wrong thing? Like, if it's a human, then we're like, no, but a, a robot put it there. Yeah, and it's like, well, what if it's the well, no, it's a box that robots are taking out of the thing to put there. And like, oh, it's robots all along the way. Uh, and that's where he's making his money too. Is that he no longer has slave labor? Yeah, he just has robots that can just they robots, don't complain. Like they don't complain. House. They just work. Probably like 24/7. one or two dudes like monitoring yeah. all the robots. But Check then them. and you could pay them exorbitantly or not. You know what I mean? Like if you have no employees on the floor and you only have like staff supervisors or something. Yeah, they're probably just get paid regular. And now if, you don't have some whiny employees. Who's being like, I want health benefits. Well, they're yeah. late for their break or yeah, you know. Yeah. Johnny's taking they... a shit in the bathroom again. <laughs> <laughs> this order needs to go, or like, yeah, yeah. He, he called in sick again right. today, and you're just like, oh man, like. So that's why, like, I, I, it's, I, I don't know if I'm for or against robots, <laughs> but I get it. I just, don't, I just don't think I can handle them in the car. I mean, we're bad drivers enough somehow. <laughs> Us yeah, the, robots, it's just, the idea of automated. We just not have trains everywhere. <laughs> People want their independent little pod of a car. And I get it. It's it's so much nicer to drive a car than to take the train. The idea of like an automated vehicle though is like so scary. Just like the potential of just everybody in a car that's driving itself. There's so that book. just so that there's no accidents. Cause they're going off of this whole thing where they're like, it's um, I mean, I got the vaccine, but they're like, get the vaccine, it's for your safety. And they keep being like, do this, it's for your safety. Do this, it's for your safety. Get in a self-driving car, it's for your safety. Like, we don't want you, we don't trust humans to drive cars anymore. You know, like it, it might get to something like that. We suck as drivers collectively. Yeah, I mean, there's so many people that die in car accidents. Way too and many like, accidents, way too many drunk people, people on phones, people with kids in the car suddenly screaming, people with dogs just jumping in the front. Like that happened to me once. I mean, it's an easy <laughs> argument to make, right? Like you're just like, there's a number of distractions and it would cut down on death, but it's just like, it's the, also the death of freedom. It's like, you can't. There's a book by Ray Bradbury called I Robot. And they also made a movie of it with Will Smith in it. But it's about the dilemma where um, Will Smith, the original character in the book, I'm um, sorry, he's not Will Smith. I shouldn't say <laughs> Will Smith. Anyway, he's, he's, um, a police officer and it's, it's, there's an accident and like they're in water and there's a car and like he's trying to get people out of the car and a robot sees that this is going on jumps in the water calculates like i can only save one person but this guy has a chance of surviving lets the kid die and takes the cop because he has a higher chance of survival and there was something like he had to have his whole arm replaced as he was like but he now had to wrestle with the fact that this robot made a decision when he'd be like, take the kid, there's more potential there. Yeah, but if yeah. the robot doesn't understand potential and why we value children that way. You've been listening to The Johnny Rogers Show. New episodes air every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.